Hey folks, are OS Reviews. You're watching our video review of the Zenzorium Tinky. This product actually has two separate versions. There's one that's designed for iOS smartphones and tablets, and this version here is designed for any Android smartphone or tablet, and it connects using Bluetooth 4.0. It retails for roughly $120 and allows you to measure your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and the blood oxygen level inside your body, and it takes about 30 seconds to get a reading. It comes with a free application that you can install in the App Store, and it comes in also several different color options. There is the Scion blue model. This one is the orange version. Taking a look at the packaging, we have a pretty clean look going on overall, and inside we have access to the Sensorium Tinky itself. There's also a micro USB cable used to charge the Tinky with. It takes about four hours to fully charge, and then lasts about a week of continuous usage before it runs out. There's an instruction manual that tells you how to set up everything and to get an accurate measurement. And finally, there is a magnetic band, which is pretty important because the Tinky cannot get very accurate results in bright sunlight. So if you're using the Tinky perhaps outdoors when you're running or jogging around, and you want to measure your vitals, you can't measure it just like this because it's not going to be very accurate. The sensors need to be in darker uh, rooms or indoors for the optimum results. So you can use this band to get a uh, better result outside by attaching the magnetic hinge on the side there. And on the other side, there's also a magnet that sticks onto the magnetic back on the Tinky. And then you can cover up your thumb when you're measuring things outdoors and also makes things a bit easier uh, if you're holding it for 30 seconds. It's a nice little accessory that's pretty important if you want to use the Tinky again in outdoor environments. Taking a look at the design of the Sensorium Tinky, it's crafted out of a polycarbonate shell on the front and a metal on the back. Uh, it feels nicely constructed and put together. It's assembled in Thailand. There's also a lanyard strap on the bottom for you to take with you onto a keychain. The side features a micro USB port for charging, a power on off switch, and just the two sensors on the very top. So very simple, pretty elegant, and easy to use. Taking a look at the Zensorium Tinky application, it's also very elegant and nicely designed. It's a free app that you can install, and you can see on the top we have access to a Vita score and also a Zen score. The Zen score measures how relaxed you are, and it gives you a few breathing exercises. It's going to be a circle that pops up and expands and shrinks down. It tells you to breathe uh, as the circle moves, and then it measures your vitals. The Vita score is the outdoor exercise score, so after you've jogged, run, or biked, it's going to measure your score that way and give you a rating out of 99 points. You can then see your results using the tab here, and then your achievements, your history, you can measure your Vita score here, your Zen score, and then share those accomplishments with the world using a social network feed such as Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace. And so the applica application itself is nicely designed and pretty easy to use. I'm going to show you now how to measure the Vita. Let's say I'm going to measure that. Once the Tinky has been paired, it's going to start flashing. It's going to take about 15 seconds. I'm going to put my thumb on there and it's going to start measuring it. So you have to hold pretty still during this time and to apply an even amount of pressure as well. For best results, it also recommends that you don't talk, but obviously we're posting this review right now. And on the bottom here, you have access to a graph that tells you uh, some of your vitals and it measurements as well. It's going to show you kind of that live feed there. This is an example of what it should look like and it does a pretty good job. After about 30 seconds, you can see the progress bar reached all the way to the right. That's when your reading is gonna be complete. You continue holding it for a few seconds longer, and then it's gonna give you a measurement. Now, I have to say that the Tinky, although very cool, and it also works pretty nicely, it's not the most accurate reading sensor in the world, uh, and sometimes you can get pretty fluctuated results, uh, whereas in one go, you might have some pretty high results. In another one, it might be kind of low. But you can see right now, we have a Vita score of 96. So the highest score possible is 99 points. And it tells you your beats per minute, your heart rate beat, your oxygen level. And it says that's excellent, feeling proud, uh, and that you are keeping up to your fitness. And it also tells you the accuracy on the very top. So for now, it says that the accuracy level is low. And this is because our measurement and conditions are not conducive, probably because we have a light on the background. And to get some better results, I have to hold even more still to not really breathe the day, or talk. The Sensorium Tinky is a useful health tool because it is multifunctional and also nicely designed, both in the UI department for the program and also the hardware itself. However, at $130, it's a bit pricey, and also the accuracy is in the highest we've seen. For example, in brighter environments, you're not going to get very accurate results, and sometimes the results will also vary depending on how firmly you're pressing your thumb and, again, your conditions as well. So it's not the most accurate reader in the world. Check out more information about this product. Be sure to read our full written review, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.